Hey everyone, it's Lauren here, popping in today to share with you a quick little layout and also to have a bit of a chat about budget scrapbooking. Now I know our beautiful hobby can be very expensive at times, especially when all the new releases come out and all the beautiful products, but I really wanted to have a think lately about how can we make scrapbooking more affordable? And at times we can have a little bit of a splurge. Other times we have to pull the purse strings in to accommodate the family or whatever's happening at home at any one time. So I thought I'd do a layout and I want to let you know that this layout cost me in total about $6 to create. Now, I have the added advantage of having a silhouette cameo, so I did cut my title out using my silhouette. But I wanted you to, I wanted to have a chat with you and a bit, bit of a challenge for you to have a think about what, where can I access free product from and where can I access affordable scrapbooking supplies from. So the black and white polka dot base page there you can see is a Sue's Fish printable and I think that equated to a, oh, it's less than a dollar for me to purchase and I can use it as many times as I like and it cost me 99 cents to print out at my local store on the cardstock that I like. I like the 200 GSM cardstock because it's nice and thick. Same with all these pretty little embellishments that you see me using here are free printables available from Webster's Pages. Now, I encourage you to pop over to their website because they have oodles of free printables. I also thought this is a real time and I want, really want to challenge you guys and I want you to share in the comments below so others can take advantage of this. Any free printable products that you found over your scrapbooking time. I want you to pop the link below so everyone can take advantage of them and I want us all to share as a scrappy community the freebies that we can access that are out there. Now I know a beautiful Heidi Swap, she has printable free printables on her website. So I encourage you to go over there and check those out. There's heaps of them for you, the planner girls out there as well. And I want you to help me and help others find free printables that are out there. So if you know of any great little um, sources let us know in the comments because I wanted to make a scrapbooking affordable for everyone. Now a scrapbooking affordability and uh, printables usually comes with a an essential love of fussy cutting so that's just a little warning that I need to put out there a disclaimer. <laughs> So I encourage you to, to take your printables while you're watching a movie, sit down, cut them out and try not to stress out about it. <laughs> but as you can see, I've just used some three of the three printable, free, blah, 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 tongue tied, sorry, free printables from Webster's Pages, one Sue's Frisch printable there and a piece of white cardstock. Well, it's not even cardstock that white, it's just white everyday printer paper and I've popped it on there with a three by four inch black and white photo and look how amazing this layout's coming together. All the layers and the clusters are all beautiful and it's cost me hardly anything. I then created my Scraptastic title that you can see there that I'm popping on and the title is going to be You Are Scraptastic. Once again, that paper is just normal printer paper. I'm keeping an eye on the budget and having that available. So having a cameo, um, using stamping, things like that make scrapbooking a little bit more economic on the long run. This black paint here, I picked it up at a local shop that's everything's about it's really cheap, like a $2 shop, and I don't even think that was $2, and I've got a heap of black paint there that will last plenty of layouts to come, and I've just cut out Scraptastic there. 
This project I also created because I organised a crop in my local area. I wanted women in my local area to come together and have a special day and I wanted to do a class with them. I wanted this to be my gift to them and so I, I needed to make it affordable because I knew that I'd probably be teaching about 30 of them. So I had to make it affordable so that really stretched me which is why I went on the hunt for some free printables and when I found these Webster's Pages ones I just internal squealed with delight they are just beautiful and there are plenty of other beautiful printables there not just the ones that you see um so they are going to be I'm going to regularly be downloading them I'm lucky because um I'm mindful of supporting um local like when people do this I want to support their business so if you're ever going to download it maybe when the budget is good to pick up some Webster's Pages products as a little thank you I use their uh, composition planner as my daily monthly planner um, that helps me keep organized for all my scrapbooking projects and life and I also have some of their um, traveler's notebooks so it makes me feel okay about accessing their free printables and I know that I'll keep an eye out for their beautiful company uh, you know whenever I'm on the hunt for some new products. Another way of keeping things affordable is you don't have to have fancy page protectors you can just use plastic sleeves that are in your office albums and I picked up that folder for five dollars at my local Big W, which is sort of like a department store here in Australia. It was cheap as chips, so you do not need fancy albums. You do not need uh, expensive page protectors. If you're wanting to scrapbook affordably, there are ways to do it. So I look forward to hearing everything in the comments below and take care, guys. Bye. Bye.